Welcome to my farm. Today I'm going to show you real quick a wood lot that I've kind of set up in a little donkey habitat paradise paddock kind of way. Uh, it just is the perfect natural little setup. I mean as perfect as it could get in Tennessee for a donkey I think. I use it for my boys in the winter that I tend to get a little chunky. Because in the summer, they're out on, you know, about 15 acres, and they have to walk a lot to get food, because I don't have beautiful pastures. I have fields of weeds, and brambles, and woodlots, and um, creek bottoms, and <laughs> ridges, rocky ridges. So, in the summer, they stay pretty active, plus Plus, I'm training a lot more in the summer. In the winter, I'm not training as much because I'm a big baby when it's cold. So, that's a problem. So, my chunky boys have to move over to this woodlot that I have set up best I could to uh, make like this habitat paradise paddock. If you've read the book, it, it's about more about track system, setting up a track, and that's not real that's not real possible for the way my land is it would be very very difficult so I don't have a track system set up on my property because I have because I don't have rich pastures I don't have a lot of grass um, my main thing is you know I want to keep them moving I want to keep them moving over different kinds of terrain and rocks that's good for their hooves and balance. So I'm gonna show you real quick um, how I've got this little um, little two acre woodlot set up um, for donkeys when they start getting chunky in the winter or if I need to separate them in the summer. And nobody really gets chunky in the summer, but if somebody did, this would be where I'd put them. It's worked out really well for me for several years now. So I hope it can give you some ideas, uh, spark some creativity on what you could do uh, with your own property. Say hi, Dixie. Say what's up. So up at the top of the, so at the top of their little paddock area, um, they have a little greenhouse shelter that I threw up, um, well that my husband threw up, uh, about two or three years ago. And I talk about that in the donkey barn and shelter video a little bit more. This is a great little temporary shelter or shelter, you know, in an area that you might not use all year like this. I don't use this all year. Then I've got a little hay hut here, which I use when when it's raining because I do like to provide my boys that are over here with some a, a dry area that they can get some food and from there it goes downhill to to a line of fencing and fence post and this is where I like to set up their hay bags along these fence posts and works really well. I got a lot of fence posts I can set hay bags up on. This is our water. They have to walk to get to their water and it's pretty rocky and uh, which helps their hoofs stay in decent shape. Nice fresh spring. It comes right out of the side of our hill. There's lots of hills to climb. That's our spring house over there. Big hills all the way up to the fence line up there and they get up there and they'll go and seek out um, honeysuckle vines and such. Let's see, I've got all these fence posts here to put um, hay bags on. Make them really walk if I want to up this hill here which is a pretty steep hill and a lot of times they walk up here because it meets the other donkeys and so they'll get up there and braid each other and carry on. 
this is a, this is a really rocky road um, under these under this leaf cover. So that's my little paradise paddock, and for the winter time for the boys. Okay, so I hope that sparks some creativity and gets you thinking about you know how you could set up like a nice little habitat environment um, for more enrichment for your donkeys, more exercise for your donkey. Just an all over healthier, happier environment for them and something easy to manage for you because that's important too. And I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs>